Hi, this is Toby, and today I'll be showing you the growing process of my Dendrobium hildepoxon in the 2023 to 2024 growing season. Now, in the last video, I showed you this plant produced several new pseudobulbs, which I was very pleased about. I had to repot it, I think, twice in one season, which is absolutely incredible. And it's starting to grow again. You can see there's so many new roots. It's very pot bound, and I can't even, I can barely squeeze the pot because it's very tight. It's managed to produce another pseudobulb over winter, which is incredible. And the roots are coming out and it's telling me it needs a bit of a drink, first of all, because I pretty much haven't watered it throughout winter. Um, this water is only because I just watered everything else around here and it's kind of hit it. You can see the pseudobulbs are a bit shriveled and it's also telling me it needs a repot. So I will have to try and get a wider pot for it and slightly deeper, but not too deep because I find that you don't really need too deep of a pot for these. And I try to get transparent pots so I can track how the roots are doing and the roots can also photosynthesize a bit on orchids. That's why I'm trying to get a transparent pot. But I'm going to water this properly and when the pseudobulbs plump up, I'll show you. But let's see how shriveled these pseudobulbs are. Look at, look at how shriveled they are. I know it might scare some people, but I assure you the plant is still alive. It, it's obviously still alive, it's still growing. But I've got to water this properly. Here's an update of the Dendrobium hildepoxon. We did get a bit of rain and from the water I gave as well, the plant has plumped up. Let me just show you, look at look at the pseudobulbs. It's not shriveled anymore, it's fully plump. You'll be surprised at how quickly these plants just plump up. It's, it's really amazing. Um, new pseudobulb growing really well. I think it's actually grown a bit since I watered it as well. So that's really good. Although it's, it is quite a cold day today, I don't think it will affect it too much. I will have to repot it soon, but yeah. So I'm going to be repotting my Dendrobium Hildepoxon. Let me take the tag out first. And again, let's let's just see the roots. It's starting to clump up the bottom. It's coming out of the pot. I'm getting a lot of new growth. And I've gotten a wider container because I don't think I need a container that tall. And if we just look at it like that, it does suit the plant quite well. It, I do want the container to be wider because this clump is just gonna get wider and wider. It's not really gonna grow that deep. So let's take the plant out of the pot if I can. So I'm actually having a bit of trouble getting the plant out. There's just so much root in here. It's very tight. I'm gonna try and come in here and just separate the plant from the pot. I don't want to, again, there's so much nice green root tips in there. I don't want to be damaging that. And I certainly don't want to be damaging this new growth. It's coming out. There we go. Look at that. I will spread the roots out and plant it in the new pot. So with any repotting, now before I start doing it, I'm going to tell you that I have some coarse orchid bark because I find with this coarse stuff, it works a lot better. Um, it doesn't hold as much water, so you don't have to worry about your plant rotting. I don't mind if I have to water my plant a bit more. That's okay, I'm I'm completely fine with that. Because these orchids are slightly drought hardy. Again, I didn't water them pretty much at all over winter, and they survived just fine. And this pot, again, is something I've just made. I bought this saucer from Bunnings, and I burnt holes into it, and at the bottom as well. And I'm hoping it drains fairly well. It should. Um, See if I can put the plant, that's obviously too high. I wonder if I can actually tease this apart a bit. I really want to so I can spread the roots out. There we go. Spread the roots out a bit. Let me just continue doing that and show you. So I've opened the roots up. I'm going to spread it out. Or spread it out to the best of my ability. That's looking good. Got a mixture of bark and charcoal in here. And I'm just going to fill out the outside. I'm going to just move this root down a bit because it's, it is going up and I don't want it to go up just yet. You can see there's a root there that's going up. And the reason I don't want the roots growing out of the pot is not that the orchid doesn't need it. It can actually have aerial roots, but there's just slugs and stuff that start eating the roots. And I just don't want that happening. It's always unfortunate when you have new green root tips that get eaten by slugs and all that stuff. 
So that's why it's sad. Although I do keep most of the plant, you can see the base above the soil level. It is a challenge for the roots to make it into the soil before the slugs get to it, but it doesn't seem to bother this plant because it's got a whole heap of roots in there. I'm gonna finish potting it up, water it down, and show you what it looks like. So here is the orchid. It's potted, it's put back in its position. I might put a bit of slug pellets when the roots grow, but other than that, it's doing really well. It's really healthy. Um, I'm hoping it grows really well this season. It should, and I'm hoping this is again this is gonna be the season or the final season where it's not mature yet and that next season it starts to bloom and I think I should be able to get it to that size this season. So here's an update of the Dendrobium hildepoxin. The new pseudobulb has grown completely. I don't know what's happening here because I thought this was going to be a leaf but it turned out to be kind of the thing that caps off at the end of the pseudobulb but it's way too large for that and there's also something else sticking out of it but this seems to be dying back and i think we do have a bud you can see underneath this i hope that focuses there's a little bulge there even if i look behind the leaf there is a bud there so this should be able to flower despite it only having two leaves which is very strange because it usually needs three leaves to bloom the roots are coming at the bottom so that's pretty good and you see i put slug pellets together just to prevent anything from eating it and Hopefully when this suitable matures, I'll get another one. The Hylodendrobium hildepoxin update. New shoot coming out. That's really good. Um, it was quite hot today. It was around 42 degrees. I think it might have even gotten hotter under the sun. I had to move the plant in the shade for a bit before I moved it back out when the direct sun wasn't hitting it. I know some of the leaves look a bit yellow, probably due to a bit of heat stress, but that's okay. Um, the plant itself is quite healthy, you can see it's not shriveled or anything, it's not soft. And we'll see how that pseudobulb develops, I think it will develop, do something quite large. So here's another Dendrobium hildepoxin update. Um, the new growth is here, I'm not sure why it's a bit spotted, but everything else about it looks healthy. It is a bit thin here, initially I was worried that maybe a caterpillar got inside and damaged it but after I squeezed it it's firm and if I squeeze it hard enough the caterpillar that would have gone inside would have been crushed so don't have to worry about it. A very healthy pseudobulb. It's growing its second leaf. I'm sure this will have at least three leaves on it and it should be able to bloom. So we'll see what happens. So here's another Dendrobium hildepoxin update. Um, the new pseudobulb Again, only two leaves for some reason. Very strange. Um, it's got new roots, but it's also got the buds where it can potentially flower from. So, not sure why this is. You can see there's another bud there. Not sure why they're only producing two leaves now. You can see they can produce more than two leaves and it should be producing more than two leaves. But as long as the pseudobulb is able to flower, I'm happy. And I think maybe next season it will flower. Here's a Dendrobium hildepoxin update. The new pseudobulb has matured and I have noticed yesterday I'm getting another one there so that's really good, a nice juicy bud. Um, this plant's done really well this season, you can see the roots are coming out of the pot. So maybe next season I have to get a bigger pot but I don't think I have any bigger pots for it. That's clear, I might have to just put it in a pot that's not clear but it's doing really well, it's really healthy and I hope that it will bloom soon. So here's another Dendrobium hildepoxin update. Right now the night temperatures are starting to go down but there are still some warm days left. Um, it seems to be quite happy. Look at the new pseudobulb here. Let me just come down and show you how long that is. Look at it. Look how big that is. I think that's the second one for this season or the third one actually. I think this, this one grew as well and I just noticed there's, there's another one out the back so it's pumping out pumping out new growth like crazy right now. Um, not sure why. I mean, you can see my winter growing stuff is starting to come out. So it's about time where these guys start to slow down, but don't know why it's picking up growth already. I don't know if it will flower. I think it should be able to flower um, with a pseudobulb this big. It's got three leaves. 
I mean, even on some of these, the ones with two leaves, I've already got the buds on them. So hopefully that will happen in spring. I think that's when they flower. I know that's when the Dendrobium speciosum flower and the King Anim. I'm not sure if that's when this variety flowers, but it's growing like crazy right now. So here's another update of Dendrobium hildepoxin. It's autumn now and I think this is just the last bit of growth it's putting on. I haven't seen any more buds come out the bottom. This is the pseudobulb with three leaves. Look how big it is. And I've got another one with three leaves. It's just growing so well. It's it's thick. It is thin at the bottom, but that is normal. Um, the leaves look really healthy. It's large. And even though this one grew in slightly cooler weather, it seems to be really healthy as well. You can see there are buds here that can bloom. So it's just a matter of waiting for when the time is right. I don't know when this plant is going to bloom. I don't know if it blooms in autumn or spring, most likely spring. I do have buds on these other pseudobulbs as well. So it should bloom next season. And I think I'll show you one more update of this pseudobulb being a bit more mature and we'll end the video. So here's a final update of Dendrobium hildepoxin. Um, growth has slowed down. The pseudobulb, I think, isn't going to grow anymore. It's just going to turn green. It's slightly shorter than that one, but that's okay. Um, it's quite cold now, so probably won't produce any more new growth. It's done really well this season. The roots have filled up the pot. How many new pseudobulbs did I get? I think I got, I got one, two, and three. I think those three were from this season, so that's really good um actually i think this might have been from this season as well very early this season so i think four so that's really good and we've got mature pseudobulbs you can see the buds where the flowers can potentially come from are there nothing active yet if they are active they'll look like this and you'll actually see them come out so this is my other dendrobium and I think these are the flower buds which will open in spring. They'll grow slowly and they'll open and they'll turn into an inflorescence which will open in spring. But nothing on this yet. But it's very healthy. And I'll do another video of it next season. Hopefully we'll see some flowers. Um, I really think that it's mature enough to flower because of these buds. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them. But anyways, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next one. Bye.